Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Infinite Fusion Randomizer playthrough. We are here in the Pokemon League, ready to go ahead, have ourselves an incredible, incredible set of battles. As I have gone ahead, I've boosted all of the trainers up to a base stat total of 475. Uh, that is because, at the moment, they were set to like 375 or 400 or something around that area. So this is still going to be a boost of like 100 base stats, which is insane. And I think they're also going to be like a good 5 to 10 levels above us by the end of this, so that's kind of scary as well. But our team has had no changes, we still have the same beautiful Pokemon team that we had before, with uh, Rampanine as Zacian, obviously, and we have Amphitear as Amphitar. The rest of the team is pretty obvious, we've had no changes since last episode. We are ready to go ahead and take on this Pokemon League challenge though. Key thing to note, I did also reshuffle the gym leaders, just in case these guys were set as gym leaders, and I reshuffled the trainers. So no matter what, they should definitely be set to a higher base stat total than normal. And they should also have higher levels than us. So let's go ahead and see how miserable this is going to become. Welcome to the Pokemon League, I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to ghost Pokemon. Oh. Okay. Freezing moves are powerful, Frostlass. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> are you ready? So, ghost types. Um, Amphitar is going to have a good time. If we can get Dragon Dance up with Amphitar, that'll be so good. Dusk Trio. <laughs> it can stare into my soul. Not once, not twice, but three times. That's powerful. I'm scared. I'm actually kind of scared. However, I don't... I think... I don't want to get hit by a ground type move. I'm four times weak to ground. We are not staying in. Um, we're going to go into Twalion. Twalion should be nice and reliable here. Should be able to take a ground type move. They're already five levels higher than us at the start. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. I thought we were going to start off on par. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I was really expecting to start off on par. We're going to go for a Giga Drain. Don't try and fissure me. I see that. Don't you fissure me. I don't want to see that. Um, I'm just going to Giga Drain again. Don't go for Fissure. Okay. Alright. You know what? Sure. We're going to Giga Drain again. We could potentially burn... Oh. I was going to say we could potentially burn her full restores, but I'll take a crit. I'll take a crit. If it means we don't get hit by Fissure, you know, I'm completely fine with a crit. That makes me very happy. About to send in Char Edge. I'm going to assume that's Charizard. I'm going to completely assume that's Charizard and stay in and go for Surf. Yep, that's Charizard. Uh, he's just eating a sword. <laughs> what am I looking at? This is such a mixed match of a Pokemon. It's got a claw coming off of it. It's like, what is this? What happened? Oh no. This poor thing. The poor Hone Edge. I don't really care too much for the Charizard. The Charizard's the one doing the eating. You know, you don't, you don't feel sorry for the attacker in the situation, but that poor Hone Edge, it does not deserve this. We do burn the forest stores though, which I guess is nice. Um, thank you, strange being? I'm not entirely sure what I should say about this. Other than- or is that its tongue? It's a pretty menacing tongue. Oh! Pounderos. Oh my god, that's so cool! Level 54. This one's much lower in level. That's such a cool Pokémon. Oh, that's so cool. I really like the look of that. I really like the look of that. An Aqua Jet will take it out. I really like the look of that. I like the tail especially. The tail has like that little ghost spirit on the tail. That's so good. That's actually so good. Send in Charge again. Interesting you would swap it out only to bring it back in against the same Pokemon, but okay. Um, get bopped I guess. We're about to see Horclops. That's a Dusclops. And a Horsey? A Horsey? Surely not a Horsey. I have a mouse cursor on the screen, whoops. It is actually a Horsey. Okay. I like the colors, actually. I like the red. Um, <laughs> uh, we're just going to Crunch, I guess. I could Thunder Punch, but we'll go for Crunch, because, you know, if it swaps. Level 67! That what? Huh? Excuse me? Why are you level 67? 
Boglops, buddy, why are you level 67? How high are they gonna go? I'm level 58. And Gasgon Z. That's a powerful sounding name. I like the name Gasgon Z. Aw, look at it. It's like, aw. It looks like it's got like a clay doll head, almost. We got frozen solid. We got, she told us, she warned us. I did not heed the warning. We were told this would happen, and I didn't believe her. I thought she was kidding. This is why we have four stores, though. I can't believe you got frozen. <laughs> I'm actually so annoyed. Don't do it again. Don't you do it. Okay, all right. I was half expecting it. Um, don't. We get burn. That's almost worse. Oh, but it's not okay. We, we still take it out. That's fine. You know, as long as we take it out of a crit, the burn doesn't even map. You know? <laughs> I'm actually impressed that she managed to freeze us. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. Yeah, and you had a level 67. So... I'm, I'm actually a little bit worried about what we might be going and facing right now. I think we might get put into a horrible, horrible situation at some point. Especially by the end of this. I mean, we've seen what? Like, the first. If they gain two levels per one, the end of this, they're going to have, like... Level 75s, and that's going to be absolutely terrifying. Um, do we still want to leave with Zacian? Honestly, we swapped Zacian out right at the start. It's got a lot of weaknesses. Who has the least weaknesses? I have no idea. We're just going to keep leaving with Zacian. There's no telling what type it will be anyway. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people in Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with my Dark type Pokemon. Carlos, we will grind you down by superior power. Hoo-ha. Dark types, huh? Okay. Dark types are not our best matchup. We do have Ninevor, though. Which, if we get a card mind up with Ninevor, we'll be fine. I know I said I'd get a Dragon Dance up with Amphitar last time, but that didn't work out at all. Uh, Honchgast. This is Dark and... Flying. Head Smash? Foul Play. That's bad. And then we miss. Well, that <laughs> is just about as bad as it could get, huh? Um, we're going to swap straight into Ninevor. And we're going to start setting up Calm Minds on this thing. It can go ahead and foul players. That shouldn't do too much. Crits again. Second crit in a row. Just, just going to point that out there. But we know that we can survive even a crit, so we're going to go for a Calm Mind. We got speed, which is nice. I think we're going to go for two Calm Minds. Sword starts. Never mind. No, we are not. We're not going to go for two car mines at all. Uh, even if it foul plays us, that doesn't actually take its attack boost, so we're just going to move last. Um, we don't have to worry about any like foul play from it, so I thought we'd just go for the KO and hope for the best. Doesn't mean I want to take a foul play from it, though. Honch Whirl. Another Honch Crow? We can fight more Honch Crows, but that's fine. We know that Moonblast is going to be super effective. We know that it's a Dark type, so... Level 62 gets bopped. I do, I do like the Hodge Crow, though. I like the fact that he always has a hat. And Poeta? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Yo, it looks kind of cool, though. I find it hard to believe that's a dark type. All right, that's kind of hard to believe. So what, this is a fire dark type. Why have I stayed in? I'm gonna calm mind again. We're gonna beat this thing by setting up so much that it can't do anything. Sacred Fire. That hurts. That definitely hurts, but we have potions. That's fine, you know? If he's gonna go ahead and use potions, so are we. That's fine. I am a little bit worried that this thing's gonna bring out a rock type move. Uh, if it brings out rock slide. Oh, punishment is not what I wanted to see. That is not what I wanted to see. We can just go for a flamethrower. Wait, why am I not going for Moonblast? Why am I not going for Moonblast right now? Moonblast wouldn't have one-shot anyway. But I should have went for it. I should have definitely went for it. I'm not entirely sure why, why my brain didn't. <laughs> it's like... It's a fire type. We can't hit fire types. Completely ignoring the fact that it's a dark type. It doesn't look like a dark type. It really doesn't. Sacred Fire misses. That's great. Surf does not quite take it out. I'm expecting a potion, so I'm going to surf again. Yeah, okay. 
That was very expected. Thankfully, this is his level 56, and not his, like, level 69 or whatever he's gonna go to, and Surf crits! Okay, Torleon. Okay, I... I understand. Trying on Hydro Pump? Nope, Surf seems to be working. Let's not change things. <laughs> Let's not worry about that. And Golitar. Another... An, another one? Another Tyranitar? Beautiful. 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 That's beautiful. I shouldn't stay in, actually. This thing's Poison type, and we are a Grass type. That is, is not the best matchup. Uh, instead, let's go into... To be honest, Amphitar is neutral. It's only level 50, actually. Why is it level 50? Why, why are the levels so random? There has been some pretty serious random levels right here, but okay. We can go ahead and... Is it worth Earthquaking? Poison? We can Earthquake. It outspeeds us, because of the Golbat speed, I assume. Interesting. I suppose Ampharos isn't exactly the fastest of Pokémon, so yeah, that's fair. And we're gonna take damage to the Sandstorm, that's fine. Oh, Hound Shoe. It's Hound Arrow and Chinchow. This is not too scary. We can Earthquake this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're just gonna go for an Earthquake. Flamethrower, did do a little bit. Does do a little bit. Level 56 isn't too hard to deal with. Is this super effective? It is super effective. Good, good. Okay. And we take down the Dark Type Gym Leader. They definitely had lower level Pokemon than the first one, which is strange. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. But first, we heal, because I really don't want to go into things without a full health team. That would be absolutely awful. We also have to revive Ninevor, which, to be honest, one Pokemon fainted in the first two challenges. Not gonna lie, it's a lot better than I was expecting. I thought this was gonna go much worse. Uh, we also have a Sacred Ash in the back. Let's not forget that. If things come to it and I have five of my Pokemon fainted, one Pokemon left remaining, I can Sacred Ash up my team. All right, so we'll do that. You, I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. Fellas, I'll show you how an Ice-type master fights. Oh, okay. For once, I'm happy to be leaving off of Sassian. Agatha the Ice-type leader. And Lorelei was the, the ghost one? Okay. Okay. I like how that worked out, actually. That's kind of funny. Uh, let's go ahead and lock ourselves into uh, Fire Fang so we don't get recoil. Yeah, because this thing could be part steel. Pillowyard goes down. It's a fun name, Pillowyard. I like that name. <laughs> Artitrio. All right, let's let's think about this. Let's think about this because this is going to be scary. Um, I don't want to go to Torleon in case of freeze dry. This is Articuno and Dugtrio, huh? I think Luo is. Possibly our best bet. So this is ice and ground. Is there any way I can get a four times super effective attack off? <laughs> that, that'd be great. Uh, I don't think so. Ice and ground. Maybe Garagross, actually. Garagross should be able to deal with anything this thing has, unless it has freeze dry, but even if it does, it should be fine. It shouldn't have freeze dry. <laughs> Free little Articuno stuck in the ground. That's. That's horrible. Um, we're just gonna go for a Meteor Mash, this should be super effective. Sets up a Reflect. Can we get an Attack Boost? Unfortunate. That would actually have been amazing. Um, goes for Fissure! Oh no. But we get a crit and immediately go for its Reflect Boost. Oh, that's so good. I do not like seeing Fissure. I, I didn't like seeing it the first time, to be honest. Jin Fion. Fion? Jinx? Oh, Jinx is a Leafeon. I was trying to work out how that could be a Glaceon. Wow, good job, Brain. Good job. Very cool. Um, Flamethrower. That's fine. We can deal with that. We can hit it on the special side to make sure that we don't have any of that silly reflect business. Oh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not my favorite appearance of a Pokemon. That's, um... It, it just looks... It looks so, so naked. I... Uh... 
Steekuno. Is this Steelix and, and Articuno? We're gonna stay in a flamethrower. Double Articuno. Look at an Articuno made of pure steel. Make fun of him for being the weakest legendary bird now, I dare you. He's made of steel. He's He's got rock hard abs from working out all day long. The power of this thing. But it's gonna get one shot, so actually you can go ahead and make fun of it all you want, you know, it's fine. You know, it's still actually pretty weak. Uh, it's just got a steel body now. Interesting. And Swinks. <gasps> I love the name Swinks, that's such a cute name. Is it Shinx? I can dream. I can dream. <laughs> if only. Uh, instead, we can go for a flamethrower and we should be absolutely fine to finish this thing off. I don't think it'll survive. It doesn't. We take down the Ice-type leader. So far, Lorelei's had the highest level Pokemon. Not entirely sure why that is, but okay. You win. I see what the old Duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. So are we, like, still full health and everything? That was a very clean battle. That was very clean. I like the fact that it says, like, Elite 3 in the top corner every now and again. Lance. But he's not gonna have dragons, so actually I'm not too afraid. Ah, I knew I would see you again, Carlos. As you may know, I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Fairy Trainer. That's so perfect. That is so, so perfect. He realized that what his dragons had a weakness to, and he adapted to it. By becoming one with the fairies. <laughs> you know that fairies are mythical Pokemon. I do. You're right. They're hard to catch and raise. Mm, don't know about that one. But their powers are superior. <laughs> I love this. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Carlos. I'm so happy that he ended up with Barry. I am so happy. That's such a good change. That's so thing. Clef laid. Oh. Oh. That's a... That's an image. Uh, I think... I don't want to take a fighting type move like close combat. It's part fighting. It's definitely part fighting. It's very fighting, which is actually kind of hard to deal with. We don't have a poison type. Uh, I suppose nine four will work because we can just moonblast. We should resist anything this thing has. Meteor mash. Well, that was not the move I was expecting. Uh, that, where did that come from? Where did that move come from? Or, in all honesty, what? We're gonna go for a Calm Mind. Just in case it wants to go for anything like a, a Moonblast or I don't even know. Or a Psychic. Get your Mash again. It's fine, we resist that pretty well. We can just Moonblast. Blade has a lot of special defense, but... Bopped, never mind. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's get that thing off the screen. And Shield Puff. I like the sound of Shield Puff. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I think this thing is a Rock type. Annoyingly. As fitting as it should be to be a Steel type, I'm pretty sure all Fossil Pokemon start with Rock, so we're gonna go with Energy Ball. Yep, it is a Rock type, as unfitting as that is. The hype of the voice of Steel. I feel like Metal Sound should do damage if it's used by a Steel-type. If I voice can do damage, why can't Metal Sound, you know? The same thing. They just don't have voices, because they're made of Steel. Energy Ball, though, is going to make him waste all of his full restores, which is very nice. Why is this thing so bulky? It's not even any of its evolutions. Of, none of them are fully evolved. What? <laughs> Stop being so bulky. I guess it's just Jigglypuff HP? Wild. Um... Octilia? Ilia? Leia? Curlia? Curlia. It's probably Curlia. Uh, let's go ahead and go into Torleon so we can Giga Drain it, I guess. Because this seems to be pretty reliable. We have the big root after all, you know. Um, Curlia with tentacles. No. <laughs> no. No one needs that. No. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not do that. Hyper Beam. It does respectable damage. It does do respectable damage. We have a big root though, so we're gonna heal all that back up. We're just gonna go ahead, you know, we're gonna use the suction from its own suction cups. We're gonna just absorb all of it. We're gonna absorb all of its power. Mine. All mine now. 
Toga Terror. I really want to stand and have a Tor Terror fight. We're having a Tor Terror fight. Let's have a Tor Terror fight. Oh. Oh, we win. We win the Tor Terror fight. That's ugly. That's so ugly. Um. Am I fine to just surf this thing? It outspeeds us. Surf is super effective, and it one-shots. Surf crits again! Okay, alright. I'm fine with this. This is very strange, but sure. Sure. And Matuff. Matuff. We can Zen headbutt Matuff. We haven't even used Luo yet. <laughs> we haven't used it yet. That's wild. Matuff. Um, we're completely neutral against anything this thing should have. So 65, we get a flinch on Zen Headbutt though, and we outspeed. And just like that, the level 65 goes down. This is going a lot better than I thought it would, <laughs> to be honest. I still can't believe my dragon's lost to you, Carlos. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is... Stinky. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Uh, that's fine. You know, I'm feeling pretty confident in our team right now. I I mean, I knew they were good, but I didn't think they'd be this good. I mean, we have Sacred Ash in the back. Can we... Can we lose? Is there a way we can lose? I want to leave with Luo, actually. Just because we haven't used it yet. Everyone needs to make sure that they've, they've at least taken out one Pokemon, you know? Hi. Hi. What's up? Just a squad hit, you know? Double champion battle. <laughs> Can you imagine? Alright. Hey, I was looking forward to seeing you, Carlos. My rival should keep me... Should, should be strong to keep me sharp. Wow, reading is hard. While working on the Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Carlos, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Except for Red up on Mount Silver, who he doesn't know about yet, but still. I believe. I believe it's gonna be tough. Champion Stinky would like to battle. I kinda like this green background. It's very different to what you normally have. And we start with Ontar. What? <laughs> what am I looking at? I like this music. Uh, we're gonna go for an Earth Power. I'm gonna use Luo until it faints. That's the plan. We just use Luo until it faints. Sturdy keeps it alive. Goes for Hyper Beam, misses. Starting strong, you know, making sure that we're starting strong here. Uses a full restore. You're gonna burn all of your full restores. Attack missed. Is it holding Bright Powder? Is it? What? I just missed three times in a row? I just missed three times in a row. Is that actually Bright Powder? That did some damage. Um, just use extra sensory as Earth Power seems to be having a little bit of a fit. Uh, we've burned all the, all the potions, so that's nice. Extra sensory still does so much damage, it's fine to just go for this, I guess. Um, I mean, the same accuracy at the end of the day. Another full restore. He really likes this Pokemon. He really likes his Ontar. He does not want this thing to faint. Four full restores. <laughs> what? Are you waiting until I, like, sacred fu- Does he have infinite full restores? No, okay, I was, I was starting to wonder. I was wondering if he would have infinite full restores and his entire gimmick was he just you just have to KO him from a certain range. That'd be so annoying to deal with. Florusa. Or Florsa. Florsa. That's a kind of nice name. We're staying in though, because we're using Lure until it faints. That's really weird to look at, actually. That's really weird. I kinda like it. It's like a teddy bear holding its stuffing that's coming out of it. That's a, that's a strange image, but it's, it's kind of cool. It is definitely kind of cool. Uh, level 63, so again, Lorelei had some pretty strong Pokemon at the start, which is kind of strange. 
But Flossa is gonna go down. I did like Flossa though. Flossa was kind of cute. It's just a really cute teddy bear. Okay. I'm just waiting for the legendary. Aero Dash. I said I'd stay in until it fainted, so I mean, we're staying in. Ooh. 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 I don't like what's happening with hooves. Um, am I fine to earth power this thing? I think I am. Iron Head, don't flinch me. We don't get flinched, we land the earth power thanks to no bright powder. I'm assuming it was bright powder at the start, but I, I honestly don't know. Earth power takes it out. Luo is just destroying things. Luo, please. The aim was to have you faint. <laughs> Sunset? No, this is something you must kill. This is something you must defeat. It cannot be kept alive. Sacred fire. Okay, that's fine. That was a very crucial one to take out. I don't like that. We saw the legendary. It was mixed with a sun curve, <laughs> which was not exactly what I was intending when I set the uh, the base set total up, but you know. And Scarlet. Scarlet, what a nice name. A nice name of Scarlet. Okay. I'm standing at Scarlet. Level 69. Night Slash, we're done. Did we survive? Oh my god. Luo, please. Luo, please. Luo finally faints. Uh, not that I was trying to get it to faint, but dang, okay. Uh, I think we should be absolutely fine to just go into... To be honest... I think just going ahead going into Torleon is probably our safest bet. I just don't want to get hit by Fissure. I was expecting Fissure Air Slash flinch. No flinch. We land Surf. Crit. Surf didn't crit. Wow, cool. <laughs> I was expecting it. Maybe it's because I called it. That's probably why. And the final Pokemon is Waro. What is Waro? Wartortle and Fero? I mean, we're fine just Giga Drain and get some health back, I guess. Drill Pack is gonna hurt. That does definitely hurt. We have the Big Root, though. You ready for the Big Root to come in clutch? The big Root does not come in clutch. The Big Root does not come in clutch at all. Um, we're gonna Arc Jet for a little bit of damage before we faint to Drill Pack. That's fine. I'm cool with letting this thing go down. There's honestly... There's only one way to finish off this fight. There's something very important that I have to do. And that is... I have to smash it with my head. Okay, I have to use the legendary butt Pokemon. I can't not use the legendary butt Pokemon signature move. Hydro Pump, we're, we're done. We're done. We're not surviving that. I don't know why I thought we'd outspeed. I thought we'd outspeed. I'm gonna be honest, I really thought we'd outspeed. Um, and what I meant to say was we have to finish it with Amputar because of the power of Chubby Cheeks. That's what I meant to say. We're gonna Thunder Punch it with the power of Chubby Cheeks. Uh, it sets up the rain, that's not gonna do anything. If it did that at the start, and then it started using Hydro Pump, that could have been terrifying. Overall, good job, Champion Stinky. You tried. No, that can't be. You beat my best. After all that work to become the League Champ? My reign is over already? It's not fair. There should be like a, a one day grace period of where he can't lose the title. <laughs> Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it. You're the new Pokemon League Champion, although I don't like to admit it. Carlos. Yes, that's me, hello. So, you won. Congratulations, you're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you left Pallet Town. Carlos, you have come of age. Blue, I'm disappointed. So rude. <laughs> he did become the champion still, you know. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you'd already lost. Blue, do you understand why you lost? You've forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Because I definitely do that. Yeah. <laughs> Without them, you will never become a champ again. Carlos, you understand that your victory was not your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokémon is marvelous. I do have a strong bond with the Legendary Butt, you're right. Carlos, come with me. Love the fact of Legendary Butt Pokémon. It's still making me laugh now. That's how much of a child I am. <laughs> uh. Ahem. Congratulations, Carlos. This floor is the Pokémon Hall of Fame. Pokémon League champions are honored for their exploits here. I didn't exploit, what? <laughs> the Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. 
Carlos, you've endeavoured hard to become the new league champion. Congratulations, Carlos, you and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Good old Luo, the strongest legendary, what a great fusion. Torleon, the, the surf critting maniac. We have ourselves the legendary Butt Zacian, beautiful Pokemon with Head Smash. We have Garagross, who still doesn't have a water type move. We have Nine Ball, who can set up Carmine to sweep. And last but not least, we have Chubby Cheeks, the Amphitar, who can go ahead, set up Dragon Dances, and fun to punch things to death. Although we never did set up Dragon Dance, unfortunately. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Look at this squad right here. I'm happy with these Pokemon, I really am. League Champion, congratulations. Does that mean we're getting shoved into some credits? Would I like to save? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay. No credits. Oh. All right, while these credits play, I am gonna quickly go over some things. First of all, playthrough is not over. We still have Johto to do, don't worry. Johto is gonna be coming. Uh, for the Johto region, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the legendary butt Pokemon, Zacian, and I'm gonna re-roll sort of every other Pokemon that I have. I'm gonna go ahead, unfuse them all, fuse them all with different things so we have like a different team to go through the region with. Uh, so there'll probably be a large fusing episode coming next Monday, as over Christmas I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, uh, just because Christmas time, get a little bit busy, that sort of stuff. There will be a video up tomorrow, uh, still, don't worry, there's still gonna be a video tomorrow on Christmas Eve, it's gonna be a more Christmas related themed video, uh, hopefully as long as I can get everything working, but should be fine. <laughs> so starting next Sunday, there will be another video, and then Pokemon Infinite Fusion will continue the Monday after that. And it will still be on uh, bi daily, is that the word I'm trying to think of? Bi daily basis, so it'll come on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will have a new playthrough going alongside it on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, as we have finished Pokemon Soul Light and Blue Dark. I did wrap that up uh, with a pretty long video that did take like a good, I'm gonna say six hours of recording and took a couple of days to get all the Pokemon 4 with all the legendaries, so. Show some love to that video, because I put a lot of work into that one. <laughs> and with that, I think these uh, these credits come to a close. Convenient timing, because I just finished what I had to say. Okay. And we are here, right at the beginning. Is there anything that we have being said down here? Carlos, I heard about you being the Elite Four. It's all they've talked about on TV. I'm so proud of you, and to think you've only just become a trainer recently. You've grown so much since. Anyway, Professor Oak called and said he had wanted to talk to you. Something about a legendary Pokemon. You should go see him at the lab. But all of that post-game stuff will be saved for a later date. We're going to go ahead, we're going to walk outside, make sure that there's nothing crazy happening, and with that, I think we're going to wrap up this right here. As I said, using episode will probably be in like a week's time. So if you guys have enjoyed this, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!